Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season one, episode 42 of Sailor Moon called Sailor Vance's Past Menaka's Tragic Love. And this is actually a reaction for me. They did not show this in the US at all. So I, this was like brand new to me. I was like, what? Apparently when I rewatched the series, I watched the season four and five apparently and because uh, I was like I already seen one through three it's fine but I never saw season five so that's kind of what I did and I never rewatched it but it's me fully rewatching it so really cool that we get to actually have a reaction so we start off with um everyone's at the base set for Ray, and they can't find the location for the Dark Kingdom and Usagi is getting really really tired and Monaco is struck out as well but the monitor, you see like a couple of dark spots happening on the on the sun, which is not good. And that means that Metalia is almost awake. Then we cut then we cut to where Kunzai is talking to a cop in Britain who knows Manaka. Then we cut to where Demian will be Metalia's successor, which is kinda rude because it kind of overshoots um barrel, but okay. Then we cut to our artist artist. Oh my god, then we cut to where Artemis accidentally hit Usagi by accident. And then we cut to where Minako is missing and she got a call from Katarina. And talks to her and then leaves. Then we cut to where Kunzai turns the woman into a monster. Then Minako starts daydreaming about Alan, who apparently was like her um, person she had a crush on in Britain. Then the monster attacks her in a really cool fight scene and they use the bed to escape. And so they use the pin, and so it's like he's a sailor. And then they escape on a boat. And the, the monster's on the tail, and they get on a cruise ship. The Dina shares her past. So she basically fell in love with Alan. And then she'll sailor V and um, save the girl from the uh, monster. And that girl happened to be Katarina, and they became fast friends. And then there was an explosion where Sailor V escaped, but it looked like she's gone. And um, Alan and Catalina were a couple. And that's when Sailor V disappeared. And then Usagi transforms because the monster showed up again. And a really cool action scene they tried the tiara and the necklace came off. And it had a picture inside of Minako and Alan. And then we cut to where Venus wants to um, save her. So um, they do, she do, Sailor Moon does her healing and the uh, Katarina's back together and everything's back to normal. And they make up and then they she left and went back home. Really good episode. I really, really, really enjoyed this episode. I give this a plus. I love Monaco's backstory. I thought it was great. Um, I thought it was really well done, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was great, and the action seats were really good. Just everything about it was great. I loved it. So, <laughs> um, it's, it's really hard for me not to pick out any little things I didn't really like. Um, they've done really good the last several episodes of this. Um, of the season. I really enjoyed it. So anyway, that's what I'm doing for this video. If you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree, tell me your thoughts down below, and don't forget to subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.